the ancient turkey baster. Hi everyone, my name's Hal Walker. And ever since I was a kid, I've been seeking out cool ways to make weird sounds. And uh, a good friend of mine, Brad Bolton, introduced me to the amazing sound of the turkey baster. Now he's a lot better than I am, but I'm good enough to give you a lesson today. And Thanksgiving is upon us, so it's time for you to go into your kitchen Grab that turkey baster out of the kitchen drawer. Put a little bit of water in it. Fill it just about that much. And uh, I'm going to take a hold of the plunger with my right hand. And you'll notice as I, as I squeeze the plunger, the water goes up, causing the cylinder of air to get smaller and smaller. And therefore, the pitch goes up and up. <clears throat> I purse my lips, I raise my eyebrows, placing the cylinder right up against my pursed lips, I blow across the edge of that cylinder like this. Pursed lips, raised eyebrows, give it a slight squeeze. <laughs> getting a real good pitch or a real good tone. Sometimes it takes very subtle slight adjustments. You'll notice I'm giving a slight T with my tongue. I'm going two, 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 like this. It's a powerful and subtle, um, very clear <clears throat> articulation with my tongue. So there I'm going ticka ticka ta ticka ticka ta I have to admit I'm having a hard time being very precise with the pitch. It's going to take a little bit more practice because the pitch the change of the pitch is so so subtle. So I'm an improviser. Whenever I pick up a new instrument, I just begin playing. You know, I begin exploring rhythms and melodies and uh, enjoying the possibilities. So I encourage you again, grab that turkey baster. Or if you don't have one, head down to your local kitchen store. Grab a turkey baster. By the way, some turkey basters work better, better than others. I really have not found the great one. This one I have... Uh, I've adjusted it slightly by putting uh, hot glue under the edge here in order to so that it um, so that the water doesn't flow out. I was having quite a bit of trouble with leakage, so the hot glue seemed to have dealt with that. But still, the end of this particular turkey baster is not ideal, and I'm not getting as clear of a tone as I'd like. I may have to go in search of a new turkey baster. Here, let's try one more song. Um, how about everyone's favorite?
I said everyone's favorite, and I started, hang your head, oh no, down in the valley. And I got to the end and I realized I don't even know the whole melody. But that was pretty close. It was a good start. So everyone, have fun. Enjoy. Go get yourself a turkey baster. Go out to the kitchen, uh, the kitchen drawer and drag it out. Borrow one from your mom. Fill it up with water. You know, I actually like to add a little food coloring. Or maybe around Thanksgiving, you could actually use gravy. Who knows? Anything's possible. But enjoy and uh, subscribe and like this video, and I promise to, to bring you some more. I'm, it's, it's been quite a long hiatus for me around YouTube. I haven't been producing much, but uh, thanks to my friend Cameron Mack of Art Thou Studios uh, for doing the, doing the filming here. And uh, we'll be back with more. Like, subscribe, and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye. There we go.